What's going on, YouTube? Chris from Jersey Digs here. Welcome to another episode. Hope you enjoyed the watch. I'm switching it up today and taking you all to my lovely new and improved experimentation station to dive into one of the settings that I think confuses most new users of the legend, and that is the tone setting. But before I dive too much into it, I want to explain to you what I have going on here. So on your right, I have my coil. In the middle, I have my star of the show, the legend. And to your left, I have some targets. And let's talk about them. So all of these will ring up a little differently on the legend. So from right to left, there will be the highest to lowest. So your Morgan rings up really high on the VDI scale, and something like your Rusty Nail or Small Gold Ring rings up pretty low on the VDI scale. So let's get right into it and talk about the first setting on deck here, is that the tone setting. So to get up into them, what you would want to do is press up on your detector's buttons, and presto, you are in your number of tone setting. So essentially what this does for you is it has the ability to divide the target ID scale at the top here into multiple zones, and it essentially allows the user of the detector to make different adjustments uh, for targets that fall within each zone. So your first option in the number of tone settings is one, which essentially makes every single thing sound the same. So for example, I will swing my Morgan Dollar in front of my coil, and I'll, ring, I'll bring in something that rings in low, like a gold ring in front of the coil as well. They both sound exactly the same in one tone. If you press up on your detector, it'll put you into the next mode, which is two-tone. And essentially what that does is it'll break it into two different zones, with the first one being 1 through 10 on that 0 to 60 scale at the top, and the next one being 11 to 60. Your next one here is four-tone. And essentially, again, it offers four different tones. So zone 1 would be 1 through 10, zone 2 would be 11 through 20, zone 3 would be 21 to 40, and zone 4 would be 41 to 60. And the next one here is 6 tone. I think this is probably one of the most commonly used ones um, for users of the legend. It breaks it all down into even segments. So 1 through 10, 11 through 20... 21 to 30, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, and 51 to 60. So all sections of 10. And I'll show you what this does when you do start breaking into the number of tones. So again, back you out here. I have my gold ring, rings up as a 19. You know, you have a nice low uh, sound to that. And next I'll bring in something that rings higher, like my Morgan. And again, it's just breaking down those tones and modifying them for you to get a better perception of what it is you're digging. So next within the tone settings, we have 60 tone. And 60 tone is divided into two zones, with the first one being 1 through 10 and the next one being 21 through 60. And essentially what differentiates the 60 tone from 2 tone is it provides a different pitch for the numbers 11 through 60 on your VDI scale. So I'll give you a quick show. Let's pull something out like uh, my rusty nail here. You get a nice low grunt. We'll pull out my gold ring. A little higher on the tone and something ringing really high like my Morgan. Rings really uh, high as well. Now let's grab something that's in the middle of those, like uh, my larger gold ring. It essentially provides a different tone for 50 numbers. And last but not least, in the number of tones setting is P, which stands for pitch. So tone pitch is similar to two tone in the fact that it is broken down into two zones, first one being 1 through 10, and the second one being 11 through 60 on the VDI scale. What makes tone pitch different is as a target approaches the coil, let me, oh, I zoomed you in, let me zoom you back out. So I have my gold ring here, I have it about 8 inches away, and let me zone you out here. So I'm about 7, 8 inches away from the coil here, but as I start bringing it closer, you hear it getting louder and louder and louder. This is my personal favorite number of tone mode. I have this set on most modes at the top there. 
It just gives me a really good idea of when the target is out of the hole on the surface and I'm moving on to my next dig more quickly. It also gives me an idea of a target size. I don't know if it's in my head, but I have something like my soda can. See how dragged on it is? But if I got something small, like, uh, let's grab my quarter. It's more zippy. I don't know if you guys hear that. I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I, I, I hear it. All right, moving on to the next setting in the tone setting. Just so everyone is aware, I'm going to keep the number of tones at six for the remainder of this video. And the next batter up in the tone settings is the tone volume. So again, to access it, you're just going to click to the right from number of tones, and you're going to press up again to get into here. And basically what this does, it allows you to adjust the volume level for each tone zone. So this is by default at a 4 for 1 through 10, and then at a volume of 10 for the rest. So, for example, say you're in a field and there's a bunch of aluminum and it's all ringing up at 20 to 30, and you just are tired of hearing it, and you're going to forgo finding any other tones in that in that range and you don't want to hear it anymore you can turn this all the way down to a zero and you will not hear anything from 20 to 30 anymore so i have my nickel here this rings up a 25 and the detector is not going to provide me with an audio response but let's go ahead and switch that back because i want to hear that for the remainder of the video and let's talk about the next setting here which is which is your tone's frequency. And essentially what this does is it allows the user of the legend to identify targets a little more so by audio. So I'll give you a show of what I'm talking about. And these are again by default settings, but say you wanna hear everything from 40 to 50, 60 as loud as you can. It's set at a 19, it goes all the way to 30, and that will be the noise that is emitted from the detector and 50 to 60 is already added. So when I back out, and I'll grab a few things from across the board. So I have a dime that's going to ring up as a 48. Nice and loud. Next, I have a silver quarter. Nice and loud. And my Morgan. All pretty much ringing the same. For me personally, what I did with this on my detector is I increased the tone frequency from... 10 to 20, 21 to 30, and 31 to 40, because that is primarily where the gold hides. So, for example, you know, I, I crank these all the way up to a, a 25, a 30, just so the tone of gold is more prominent. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So you heard the grunt of my small gold ring before. Now it gives me a nice high pitch, and it, it, it more or less just alerts me that, you know, there's there's a potential gold target underneath my coil. All right, so next let's talk about what I would say is arguably the most important setting in the tone settings, which would be tone break. And essentially what this allows you to do is to move the point that separates each of these six target zones when you're in six tone. So let me show you an example here of how I use tone break. So I have two targets here. I have your wheat penny and I have a mercury dime and they have two different VDIs. So the dime's gonna ring up as a 48, and your wheat penny is gonna ring up as a pretty solid 45. So what I would go ahead and do here is essentially create a break between that 45 and 48. So I would basically come here to my 30, 40 zone. Let me zoom in for you folks so you guys have a better idea of what you're doing. So I would come to my 30, 40 zone, and I would increase the tone break zone to 46. And for my next one, uh, we'll increase it to 52, 53. So as opposed to those two signals sounding the same, the penny and the dime, they will now sound different. So I'll put my penny, and now I'll put my dime. And it just gives me a better idea of the dime being the more desirable target. I've definitely hunted areas where it's just chock full of copper pennies, not even wheat pennies, but there is silver hiding in the mix. This, that was useful for me in giving myself a better idea that I'm digging a silver out of the ground as opposed to a, a one-cent coin. 
All right, so next in your tone settings, we have your threshold level. This comes as a default of zero, just so you are aware, I did change mine to two on the last hunt. But this setting essentially enables users to identify targets more easily um, and increase the depth and detection ability of smaller and deeper, deeper targets. So let's talk about the next setting here in the tone settings, which is your threshold level. Um, the threshold level impacts the detection depth of smaller and deeper targets. So if it's set too low at zero, for example, weak signals or deeper targets might be missed. But if it also is set too high, the device does get noisy, aka the threshold sound. Um, and you may miss targets. It might not be distinguished from that sound. So I'll show you here. As I raise this number up, you'll start to hear a hum. There you go. I hope you folks can hear that on your end of things. So, so as far as Legend's, you know, instruction manual here says, it's essentially recommended to adjust it to a level where you can still hear the audio variations. Um, personally, I don't play with it too much. I did play with it in my field mode, but in park mode, I've kept this down at a zero. I've really seen no need for me to adjust that at all. And last but not least here is your threshold frequency. And essentially what that does is it adjusts the tone frequency of the background hum of your threshold. So if your threshold's at a zero, this isn't going to do anything. But say I put it up to a 30 so you can hear the hum. I'll go back over and change the threshold frequency. So obviously you hear that it's getting, the hum is getting louder, thus distinguishing targets might become more difficult as well. So outside of that, that's my review of the tone settings. Keep in mind when you are adjusting these settings, it only affects the mode that you are currently in. So now my park mode is going to be adjusted, but my field mode, my beach mode, and my gold field mode will not have those settings. So you are going to need to adjust all of those individually. And aside from that, thank you for watching. I hope you like and subscribe to my videos, and uh, tune in for weekly content. Thank you and happy hunting.